the United States has had good luck getting people to move out west. And that by west, I mean California, Oregon, and Washington. The problem is the settlers skipped over a huge part of the United States, the whole Great Plains region. And so now the United States needs to figure out how do we get settlers to move here? So they're going to pass something called the Homestead Act. And that's going to be in 1862. And what they do is they tell families, if you come here, just move here, we're going to give you 160 acres of land. All right. I live in a, I live in a little community and I have about a quarter of an acre of land. All right. They get 160 acres of land for free. All they have to do is live there and they have to farm the land which is basically making sure it becomes profitable land now. It's not just kind of wasteland. Um, so if you farm it for five years, it's yours for free. If you don't, you don't get the land. So let's say you go there, you set your claim, and then you go back out east. And then you come back five years later and say, I want to claim the land. Well, you haven't done anything to improve it, so you don't get it. So you actually have to stay there and farm it for five years. And if you do 160 acres, all right, that's going to get a lot of farmers out there. A lot of settlers who just weren't doing that great out east, now you have real incentive to move out to that area that everyone skipped over. So that is all because of the Homestead Act. That's how we settle the Great Plains region. If you haven't noticed, we're talking about Civil War times right now. The Civil War is 1861 to 1865. So this Homestead Act is during the Civil War. And we need to skip to after the Civil War real quick, and then we'll hit it in a couple chapters again. But there's a guy named Pap Singleton. His name's really Benjamin Singleton, but everybody called him Pap. And Pap, what he did was he led these former slaves into this new area. And they're called Exodusters. Um, exodus, Exodus means to leave or to be in exile. All right. Um, so this Exoduster movement is a group of people in Exodus leaving the South and moving out West for a new life. They're not stuck on their plantations anymore. They're free. They most, a lot of them don't want to stay there with their previous owners for obvious reasons. So a big group of them will move there and they're going to be led by people like Pap Singleton. And so, you know, he's actually from Nashville. So got some local pride there. Now this Homestead Act is going to last for a while. And in 1889, they're going to open some area in Oklahoma up for settlement. And they're going to do this in a strange way. Um, they have about 2 million acres open for anyone to take. Uh, but to do it, they're actually going to have a race, which is really weird. But why not? So we have 50,000 people line up on this border. They're, when they shoot a gun off, they're all just going to rush into the state of Oklahoma and start claiming land. All right. These people are called boomers, and they're just going to boom in the Oklahoma. All right. Now, there are some people who thought, mm, I want to get the best land, so I'm going to sneak in early and just kind of hide. And after they shoot off the gun, then I'll just go out and claim the land I want. And these people are called Sooners because they came in early, sooner than everybody else. And so these Sooners are going to give the University of Oklahoma its nickname. Well, not some nickname, it's mascot. And they're going to be called the Sooners. So uh, when they do this, about 10,000 families are going to be moving right around what's today Oklahoma City. So in one day, the capital of Oklahoma was created with 10,000 residents. That's nuts for one day, 10,000 people. So um, that's really where the state of Oklahoma came from was these 50,000 people just rushing in and overnight creating a state. 